Ed, thanks for joining us for Sussex TV. End of day two, Sussex 60 or so behind. What's your assessment of the match so far? I think uh, when I got out there, I think we were slightly behind the game. Um, 250 for six, and I think they would have had some chances. We've got a nice late ferry there from Chris Jordan again, and Ben Brown, who's great intent to score. So I think that little ferry's probably made it even, Stephen. Um, we just talked in the dressing room there about this being a, you know, it's a good four day game. It's a, Proper wicket, um, two good teams going against each other, and I think it's even Stephen after day two, all three results are still possible. Yeah, it was a really nice little partnership there, wasn't it, at the end? But uh, both players looked in really good touch. Yeah, they have. Uh, CJ's obviously done brilliantly with the ball, I think that's given them a bit of confidence with the bat. Uh, he did really well at Derby, obviously, won us that game with Mike Gurley, and um, certainly with that partnership they had there, and he's just continued on where he's left off. Um, but yes. Uh, Brownie's had great intent all year, maybe not got the scores that he deserved after that first game against Yorkshire, but you know he's he's been absolutely fantastic for us, just his energy and his buzz and his desire to, as I said, score and the two of them have put us, have put us in a decent position for tomorrow. Both yourself and Luke Wells passing uh, half centuries today, um, but a lot of the other batsmen seem to sort of get in and, and get out really, was it that sort of wicket? Or? Yeah, it's maybe that wicket, I think if the bowler gets it right in and it sticks in the right areas, both up the hill and down the hill, there's a bit in it for the but in it for them, um, she's eyeballed a really good spell there and we perhaps gave them a few soft wickets but we've got to give them a bit of credit as well for coming hard at us. It is a bit frustrating myself and, 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 and uh, Wellesley getting past 50 and not pushing on because we've talked all year and we're pretty good all year about one of us going on and getting a big 100 to win us, like, win us the game and fair play to Stanley Patel, he's got that big 100 but you know hopefully these two guys can have a partnership tomorrow and a lower, lower order can, can do the business and get, in, get us up somewhere near them and then we'll have another, we'll have another dig at them. Balls and including four balls. Six to six behind, uh, resuming in the morning. Uh, what's the game plan just to uh, sort of attack their score straight away? Yeah, as I said, on, on the wickets here, um, the, the relayed wickets, which are really good cricket wickets, you, I think you have to have the intent to score. You, there are good balls in there that might get you out, but I think if you've got the intent to score, a bowler's got a ball really well at you because it's, they're good wickets, you know, the ball comes on really well, and if you've got that intent to score, off everyone, you'll get your flurries of runs like we saw at the end there with CJ and Brownie. So, um, you know, we've got to have good intent to score. If they bowl really well at us, fair play to them, and you know, they might, might bowl us out. But I think if we if we have that intent, we'll have a, we'll have a good day tomorrow morning. And then, you know, when we when we bowl, obviously we're going to come pretty hard at them. Um, Chris Jordan's obviously in great form, as is McGoffin and as, as is Jimmy Anion. So we've got a good seam attack going there. And, and Luke Wright's form in the first innings is pretty good as well. So we're, fa we're fairly confident of, of bowling the men's second innings and we feel it's going to be a really good game for him. Thanks, Ed. Well batted and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.